This is Rio, and he's gonna be controlling my life for the next 24 hours in a way you've never seen before, and this is how he's gonna do it. Welcome to Rio's Ridiculous Race. While Rio figures out everything that I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna be living my life. Rio will set off dominoes, releasing the car, flipping a coin. Using our state-of-the-art program, we are gonna have two decisions. Everything you see is completely randomly generated. If the coin is heads, daily budget is 100. If the coin oh. is tails, the daily budget is 1,000. Looks like the daily budget is gonna be a thousand dollars. All right, I just heard from Paul. He said uh, my daily budget for the day is a thousand dollars, so this might not be a bad day. I'm just gonna head to the bank right now and uh, take out some money. Next challenge. In here, we've got a button. When he presses the button, it will release the marble. If red wins, you need to brighten a stranger's day on a public train. If blue wins, pitch a business to a goldfish. If yellow wins, run 10 kilometers with a salmon. If green wins, learning something in a river. Go! Looks like Blue takes the early lead down the first straight. Green's right on his tail. Blue going down the swirl. Blue's still in the lead, but Red overtakes him. On, this is going to be a close race. Blue's first one down. Red goes oh! ahead. Looks like Red is the winner. All right, Tyler, your first challenge is you're going to have to brighten someone's day on public transit. I have an idea. This is my friend, MD Motivator, and he makes videos about literally brightening strangers' days. So I'm going to give him a call and ask for some advice. Hey, Zach, how's it going? Oh, man. I'm good, thanks. I'm filming a video right now, and uh, one of the challenges I have to do is brighten a stranger's day on public transit. And I know you have a lot of experience with like brightening people's days and making content about that. What's the most impactful thing that you've done that's kind of like helped brighten their day so I can, you know, kind of use that? Like before you gratify with whatever gift you give to get depth of the storytelling from their mouth and perspective, so that way you're fulfilling a gap. So it's it's kind of about like creating that, that meaning to the gifts that you're trying to give them, so. That's more important than the gift itself. Exactly, I really appreciate that. Okay, what I've decided to do, I wanna find a couple and I want to kind of make like like a little arranged date. So I'll give them like a gift card to like an ultimate dining experience and get a basket, some flowers, you know, some other like chocolates and kind of romantic stuff. I think they'll really like that. All right, I made it to a train station. I'm a little nervous because I don't really know what to say, but I'm gonna go I'm gonna find someone to give this to. When I got to the train station to try and give the basket away, I found out it was a lot harder than I thought. I first went up to a kind man and asked if he had a wife or a girlfriend, but he said no and I didn't know what to say. So I found another couple, but they didn't speak English. I found another two people that I thought were a couple but apparently were brother and sister but eventually I found a nice girl with a boyfriend. After talking to her I found out that like most couples they wanted to go out on more dates but sometimes life makes it hard to do so. So she was super grateful and it felt really good. Rio you really clutched up for her. She really enjoyed that. I think her and her boyfriend are going to be very happy because of you. You're a good chinchilla. Here in the Coliseum if he chooses the dragon side he'll have to eat his favorite hot sauce but if he chooses the unicorn side he'll have to have a blended hot sauce. Looks like he chose the dragon side, which means that Tyler will be eating his favorite hot sauce. Alright, I'm back here. I'm gonna get some hot sauce. I like really spicy hot sauce, so I'm gonna look for the hottest one that they have. This is one of my favorites. It looks like they don't have the hottest option, so I'll give it a try and see how hot it actually is. <laughs> that may not have been the best idea. Let's see what the next challenge is. For this one, Rio's gonna spin a wheel. Whichever color it lands on will determine what Tyler has to do. On red, Tyler has to do a hot yoga class. Lands on purple, he has to do the row machine without stopping for an hour. If it lands on black, Tyler will have to train like a golfer for an hour. Looks like the wheel landed on red, which means that Tyler has to do a hot yoga class. Uh, I just heard from uh, Rio. <laughs> And he, he said, uh, my exercise today, I have to do a hot yoga class. I've never done a hot yoga class before. I'm gonna head there right now and uh, see if I can hop in a class. I've never done this before. It doesn't seem like it's supposed to be much of a workout. It's supposed to be like some relaxation. I'm not usually one to like to relax. And I'll try and enjoy this. I'll let you know how I feel after. That wasn't really what I expected it to be. It was relaxing. But I think I expected it to like be hard or something. It was peaceful. When Rio walks through this box, it'll knock the ball down through this Playco machine, deciding how he's gonna have to travel for the rest of the day. The options are red skateboard, blue exotic sports car, green unicycle, and black hitchhiking. Let's see what it is. There you go. Tyler, your mode of transportation is gonna be hitchhiking. Kind of weird making eye contact with people. No one's stopping to pick me up, which is fine. That's fine. 
I have an idea. I'm gonna find another way. My plan is to go to a store and get a cheap piece of paper and like some markers and stuff. I'm gonna make a sign and offer them like $50 to drive me. I still don't know where I'm going yet, but I I'm sure Rio will make me go somewhere soon. We've got two exits on this box. One designated for its one owner, Jordan, and the other for the other owner, Tyler. Let's see who he likes more. If it's Jordan, he's gonna have to wear a blindfold. If it's Tyler, then he's gonna have to have his feet tied together. Oh man, it looks like he chose Jordan. Looks like Tyler's gonna have to wear a blindfold for the rest of the day. And his chinchilla doesn't like him as much as Jordan. All this said, I have to spend the rest of the day blindfolded on top of hitchhiking and everything else. So still don't know where I'm going, but I do have a blindfold in my car. So I'm gonna go back to my car, I guess, and then maybe grab some food. A random person just came and dumped water on me? Oh, she like asked me if it was okay and I like gave her the thumbs up. So, oh, okay. You know. By this point, I thought living my life with a blindfold on was difficult, but I had no idea what was in store for me and how much harder it was gonna get. All right, Tyler and Rio are gonna be playing rock, paper, scissors. If Tyler loses, he will have to be a floor worker. And if he wins, he'll have to be a store owner. Rio chose paper and Tyler chose rock, meaning Tyler is gonna have to be a floor worker. It's pouring rain now. I don't know how long this is gonna last. I heard from Paul about what the next challenge is. I have to go work a job. So we have something lined up, but it means I'm gonna have to go all the way across the city to uh, a mall where I'm gonna be working my first ever job. <laughs> We were just about to wrap up with the uh, rain picking up here, but all of a sudden, as Tyler was about to get into the car, a lady came up and offered him a ride to Cross Iron for $50. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. How's your day been so far? Not too bad. So Tyler's on his way there right now. We're about to go meet him there. And then uh, he's coming to work for the candy store. We're gonna go park the car. Okay. See if you can make your way to the candy store. What? All right. They left me to, to figure out where the candy store is. Okay, the strategy is to have my hand on the left wall. You good, man? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I appreciate it, thanks. Do you know where Candy Castle is? Candy Castle? You want me to meet you? Yeah, that'd be no. great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just touch me here. All right, cool. thanks. Say hi to the world, thanks for helping me out. Hey, Candy Castle, we just arrived in. Awesome. Great. There you go. Okay. Just here. Oh. Just watch out there. Awesome. There you go. Great, thanks so much. Hi, I made it. I did it. This is Nick. He's gonna be my boss for the day and uh, I work for you. I'm blindfolded, but you gotta give me work to do. All right, sounds good. Nick gave me some supplies and told me to clean the windows. He told me that they had to be spotless, otherwise he was gonna fire me. And I've never had a job before, so this job meant everything to me. I needed to make sure that I didn't get fired. So I gave him my all and I washed the windows as best as I could. Sometimes I would get a little lost, but eventually I found it and kept going. The hardest part of the job was to make sure that there were zero streaks on the glass, but after an hour, I finished my work, boss. The windows look spotless. These don't look too clean if I'm being honest with you. There looks like a lot of streaks. <laughs> Show them. Tyler, I think you're fired. <laughs> no, not my first job. Based on how many bowling pins are knocked over, this is gonna choose what Tyler's attire is gonna be for the rest of the day. If it's zero pins, it's gonna have to be my outfit. If it's one pin, it's gonna have to be a suit. Three pins, it's gonna have to be a dress. And if it's four pins, it's gonna be pants with no shirt. He knocked over one pin. That means that he's gonna have to wear a suit for the rest of the day. We got word from Paul as to what the next challenge is, and I have to wear a suit. I wasn't able to uh, get another ride, so I got my boss to drive me. I'm gonna go find a new suit to buy. It's the least I could do after firing you, Tyler. What do you think of this? Right on. Oh, How's this look? It's stylish. Awesome. However long it takes to complete the maze, we'll determine the result. If Rio takes under 30 seconds, Tyler will have to skydive with a celebrity. If it takes more than 30 seconds, then Tyler will have to bite 30 kilometers in an airplane. He's only got 30 seconds. Let's see, will he go down right away? Let's go. Tyler is gonna have to skydive with a celebrity. I don't know how he's gonna pull this one off. I just heard from Paul. The next challenge, I'm supposed to go skydiving with a celebrity. A celebrity? Can that just be anyone with enough followers? We're gonna have to make a few calls. Hey Connor, how's it going? I have a random question. Would you hey, and yeah, maybe Braden as well, would you guys wanna come indoor skydiving with me right now at iFly? Dude, I'm down though, let's do it bro. Sounds good. Can I help you? 
Hi, I'm just wondering if I could uh, make a reservation for three people today. Yeah, are you guys okay to come at 6.30? So that's flight time for 6.30, arrival time of 5.45? Yep, that'd be great. Perfect. This is Connor and Brayden. You might have heard them as the Blondie Boys. They have a total following of over 25 million, and they're going to come skydiving with me. I couldn't believe it, but when we got there, they actually agreed to completely train me and let me fly blindfolded. The Blondie Boys both went first, and I couldn't see it, but they were flying flying really high around the glass tunnel. Because the tunnel was so loud, we had to wear earplugs as well, which meant I couldn't see or hear anything. Eventually it came to my turn and a lady tapped me on the shoulder and brought me in the room. And suddenly I was floating. It was the coolest experience I've ever had. But I still had a lot more to do. We just finished up skydiving. They're gonna save me a hitchhike and they're gonna drive me. We're all gonna go out for dinner. Wait, how'd you guys enjoy it by the way? It was awesome guys. So much fun. Highly recommend. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Dare or Dream. The outcome of this will either be horrible or really good. We're gonna determine this one with a race. There's two cars. We're gonna see which one finishes first. If it's the Dare, Tyler's gonna have to phone up an ex and tell them that he loves them. If it's the Dream, then Tyler's gonna get to eat at his favorite restaurant. Three, two, one. Is that right? I just got in. The red one won. Tyler's gonna have to phone up an ex. Looks like the next challenge that I have, I have to call an ex and uh, tell her I love her. I'm, I'm gonna do that now. Honestly, I'm a little, I'm, I'm kind of nervous to do this. We'll give it a, we'll give it a try. I'll do what Rio told me to do, and we'll see what happens. Well, she didn't answer. Rio thinks he's being a bit hard on you today, so he's gonna let you do something fun. If Rio walks on the red side, then Tyler will get to play Wii. If Rio walks on the black side, then Tyler will get to go on a walk and listen to an audiobook. Oh, looks like he chose black. Tyler gets to go on a walk and listen to an audiobook. That's what this guy does for fun? I got the next challenge. This is what I would normally do for fun. Uh, go on a walk and listen to an audiobook. It's kind of uh, dark and rainy. I'll, I'll just uh, walk around my living room and listen to an audiobook. And then I think there's one final challenge left, so I'm excited to see what that is. This last one is an escape room. If he goes the top route, Tyler will have to sleep under a bridge. If he goes the bottom route, Tyler will have to sleep in the cheapest motel room. Rio, that's the wrong way, buddy. You gotta get out. Oh, he goes up. I was not expecting this. He's gonna go through, though. Oh! Yes, he goes through the top. Rio chose the top route, which means that Tyler is gonna have to sleep under a bridge. All right, well, that concludes our program. We're all done for tonight. I'm excited to see how Tyler's doing. You're gonna be sleeping under a bridge. Come on, under a bridge. We gotta go get a tent. We gotta go get a tent before the store's close. Hello? Hello, you called. I did, yeah. I was just like, I don't know, I've been thinking for a while. I just kinda wanna let you know, I, I think I still, uh, I think I still have feelings for you. This is a prank. You're really funny. So is that? So what? I don't know what, Tyler. You know, this stuff really worked last time, Tyler. It could work. No, it could not. Okay. Well, I'm glad you find it funny. I'll tell you the truth. Rio told me to tell you <laughs> that I love you. Need help? <laughs> I'm, you need help? I'm all right. I'm all right. No, just it'll it'll make sense. It'll make sense soon. You'll understand by the end of next week. <laughs> Bye. Okay, uh, I'm on a bridge. It's been raining all day, and so the water levels are really high. As much as I hate to do this, I don't think it's safe for me to spend the night under the bridge. So if that means if that means I failed, and I figured I'd rather. Where's the camera? Oh, rather live to make the next video for you guys next week. So subscribe.